Marius Petipa, a Frenchman who spent his career dedicated to dance, choreographed ballets like the Nutcracker and Don Quixote. These classics are still performed and appreciated today across the globe for their artistry and terrific choreography. His works of choreography and the restaged ballets he worked on showed romantic influences and also featured lead female parts. This contributed to the belief in the society of the time that women needed to become more independent and deserved more freedom. He also restaged many previously choreographed ballets like Giselle and Swan Lake. All of these ballets featured a female lead and multiple female soloists. This detail in the work is vital since an important community of the time was the Romantic movement. A major part of Romanticism was the increased independence of women. Poets like Elizabeth Barrett Browning were huge supporters of the idea. She wrote a poem called To George Sand, A Recognition. This poem was solely about the masculinization of women and was a call to arms for women to become more independent and be their own people. One ballet with a large female influence was Don Quixote, featuring a grand pa, a partnering dance, and multiple female solos. This show allowed women of the time to dance by themselves and with a partner to show their strength and allowing them to look independent for the public. This allowed women to not only gain a bigger role in ballet, but also gain independence in society. One of the major solos in Don Quixote is the Queen of the Dryads variation. This variation features a female by herself performing a difficult dance. Also, it is about a dryad. Dryads are mythical creatures that were supposedly inhabiting forests and trees. This is also linked to romanticism because nature was increasingly important in the romantic movement and the natural world became a more important part of life when people began observing it more closely. Another ballet Pettipa worked on is Swan Lake. This ballet features two lead parts the White Swan and the Black Swan. This ballet also features an almost entirely female cast playing swans. In this story, a prince who is seeking a wife has multiple females come to his castle and perform for him. He ends up falling in love with a woman or the girl who is turned into the White Swan. She's turned into the White Swan by an evil man named Von Rothbart who turns women into swans and keeps them for himself. When the time for the marriage comes around, the prince is left empty-handed with nobody to marry, yet Von Rothbart shows up and he brings an evil copy of the woman the prince fell in love with. She's the Black Swan. The prince is beginning to fall in love with her. However, when his original love, the White Swan, finds out about this, she does everything in her power to stop him. By day she is a woman, but by night she is a swan. During the day, she does her best to try and prove to him that she is the real girl and he mustn't fall in love with the black swan. Eventually she proves to him she is the correct girl. He ends up marrying her and breaks von Rothbard's curse, freeing all of the women who were once swans. These two ballets are just a couple of examples of the incredible work Petipa did throughout his lifetime. All of his work is still appreciated and performed very much today and they are still considered incredible works of art that should be appreciated by anyone who likes dance.